It's gonna sound like suicidal, but I swear I'm not suicidal. You just gotta trust God for real, cause it is uh, Tuesday. As you can see, I didn't have to go to my rotation today. Um, so I'm on my way to the gym. Uh, today was just kind of like, it was student presentations, but an introductory for student inter um, presentations. And since I was there last month, um, she said I didn't have to come because that's the only reason why we had to show up. So that was cool. I appreciated it because I'm chilling. <laughs> Uh, I had to read like a 14 page article. Um, so I just got finished doing that. That's pretty much all I did this morning. It took me a while to read that thing, but it was a really good article. Um, so I did that. I told myself I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna get gas. And then I'm gonna go back and finish some more work. I have another article I have to read and then I need to still pick out uh, <laughs> those articles i don't know i've been thinking a lot about just my life y'all and <laughs> like you know sometimes i'm not present like i'm really not present and you know being in pharmacy school doesn't make it better i feel like i let a lot of shit like pass me by i don't know what i'm saying y'all i'm just gonna be quiet life is hard life is hard it's gonna sound like suicidal but i swear i'm not suicidal but sometimes it's like what does it all mean and what's the point you know like there's like what is the point so sometimes i have to really like uh reframe my thoughts and be like you know bear it's, it's okay like eventually you're gonna find your purpose and you're going to find out why you're here you know and um, sometimes that shit gets a little blurry like I don't see I don't understand the reason why I'm here it's just like this shit is dumb like I'd rather not be here <laughs> I'd rather not be here type shit and it's not because like oh life is so hard whoa me but literally because it's like what the fuck is the point like you know what I mean like I just don't sometimes I don't see the point of it I just don't and you know people who have uh, families like they can focus that purpose on that you know what I mean you they can focus their energy and time on their significant other or their child and that pushes them to to uh, want to live life and I just don't have that you know and it doesn't mean that I just want to give up either it's just that sometimes those fucking thoughts creep in my head like i'm human hey like i just be like what the hell i would never ever like do no extra out shit like you know what i mean i'm not depressed like that but i'm just saying like sometimes it's just everything's exhausting for no fucking reason like living should not be so hard and I mean, y'all, y'all know it, bro. I feel like y'all have to understand where I'm coming from <laughs> because, like, life is unnecessary. Like, the life we made is unnecessary. I'm not saying life is unnecessary, but the life we made for human beings is unnecessary and it's exhausting as fuck. And we have to, we do all this little bullshit ass shit to try to keep us entertained or keep us going and it's just like life shouldn't be like that life should be so simple and it's not um but yeah anyway i just and i don't like that i don't like that i have to fucking reach to find fucking <laughs> motivation every day or find a, I, I just don't like to have to reach like that shit is irritating to me It's very irritating um it just has to be more you know what i mean it has to be more than this sometimes i want to be like all right i'm good i didn't seen enough you know <laughs> so that's sometimes how i feel like i didn't seen enough like tap out i'm ready to like shit i'm ready to go i probably sound real crazy and if y'all watching it y'all probably like bitch you need to be on medication but no i'm just being so serious like 
I'm being so serious. I don't know. I just like if y'all really take time and sit still, like sit your ass still and fucking observe yourself and just sit with yourself, you'll see like this shit is bullshit. The United States is bullshit. The world we live in is bullshit. Like, no. <laughs> you know, I just, if I can live in a cottage far away from here, next to a beautiful stream, like some Disney Channel shit, like some fucking Snow White shit, like that's what I want to do. Like, grow my own fruits and vegetables, fucking talk to animals shit and if there is somebody i can mate with mate with them like you know what i mean just sim like just simple this shit is like what but also too this is the time frame and this is where i was born so i kind of have to just adjust like i just i feel like we all have to just adjust to like the times we're in like very technology prone very advanced you know this it's just different and you just have to adjust and i think because i yearn for the simplicity but yet i'm in a, a fast-paced world uh, i'm fucking contradicted like my my soul is contradicted i feel like conflicted inside i feel conflicted because my human nature wants to just be simple but yet i'm in a world where it's like oh you gotta do this you gotta do that you gotta keep up with this you gotta want that you gotta strive to do this you have to blah 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 like that shit's exhausting let me go work out and get some endorphins because that's the world we live in um <laughs> niggas have to go work out to get endorphins all right so yeah we're gonna go do that and i'll talk to y'all when i talk to y'all all right bye hey you guys that workout was that work that workout was needed okay y'all see me glistening that workout was very much needed um <laughs> i somebody text me oh i did my 30 minute workout i was gonna do some weights but i wouldn't have been I didn't do it because I would not have been mentally like focused because my anxiety started to kick in a little bit. Um, I'm just making excuses at this point. So let me just shut the fuck up. <laughs> but it was a good workout y'all like, like for real, for real. I increased the stepper. Normally I do it at level five. And I know that doesn't that don't sound like a lot, but I'm telling you, you do level five for 30 minutes, it's gonna be a lot. So I increased it to level six, which was cool. It was really good. Um, and by doing that, I increased my amount of steps by probably like 300, because uh, normally I get to like 13 or 1400, and I finished at 1700. Um, so that was good, y'all. And then they're like doing construction and shit. I'm just making excuses still, but um, I usually don't come during this time. I usually like to come at night time. So um, the next time I come, I'm gonna try to come at night time and work out and do some weights. Y'all, wig is sliding back, <laughs> but it's okay. Cause I have an excuse. Okay, so we're gonna go get gas and then go back to the house and finish working all right bye
okay guys i'm getting out early which is cool um today was a cool day but i spent so much time yesterday picking out three articles from our journal club and i have to repick them now because they were not within the last year and i have to go and redo it I'm tired already I'm tired already we have to do a lot of reading a lot of brain work 24 hours later Please try. Thanks for the show. Hey, are you are you ready? <laughs> y'all, I was finna get in this car and just leave, like, <laughs> and not talk to y'all. But um, I'm tired. I'm exhausted, y'all. Uh, pharmacogenomics is a lot of brain work, okay? It's a lot of brain work. A lot of, um, oh, yeah, it's a lot of that. <laughs> Hey you guys, I'ma briefly explain how we translate pharmacogenetic results and how we use these results to our advantage to optimize our patient's treatment. So this is Bob, he's very sick as you can see. He has a fungal infection secondary to his HIV condition. He's currently on voriconazole, but obviously it's not working. So they sent Bob to me, a clinical pharmacist who specializes in pharmacogenetics, and I'm gonna help them out. We're gonna see what we're gonna do, okay? If you didn't know, voriconazole is metabolized by a CYP2C19 enzyme in our body. So depending on how we genetically express CYP2C19, that can determine if we are a poor metabolizer or a rapid metabolizer. And this is very important because if we are rapidly metabolizing this drug, then it's not gonna stay in our system long enough to treat the infection. And to make matters worse, voriconazole has a very narrow therapeutic window. So it's important that once we do take the drug and get it in our system, that we keep it in there as long as we can. So what we're gonna do for Bob, we're gonna get some of his blood, we're gonna analyze it and take a closer look at his DNA and get snips of his genome. So taking a closer look at these SNPs, I know they look like a whole bunch of numbers and letters, but if you take that first set of letters and numbers, for example, RS1224 eight five six zero that's just telling you the location of the nucleotide which is represented by c slash t which is cytosine and thymine and we all know those are nucleotides that make up our dna and the reason why the c and the t are divided by a slash is because those are later going to let us know like okay this c is going to give us a little from our dad and that t is going to give us a different allele from our mom all right you guys so these are just some websites that um, are used clinically as a resource to help people make clinical decisions with pharmacogenomic results or get guidelines or dosing recommendations etc um, you can go here and find literature so this is a really good one another good one to use is this next one that i'm about to go to which is cpic this one is really good i really like this one a lot because it gives you guidelines um, it gives you dosing recommendations it has like the most evidence in literature all that good stuff so I'm just typing in uh, voriconazole and CYP2C19. 
so we're going to go into this allele definition table and we're going to click on it it's going to bring up this excel sheet i know it looks super confusing but bear with me so remember those snips that we got for bob that r122 whatever whatever so we're going to find that on this table and this is the nice thing about cpic because it lays it out for you like you don't have to make this table you just get the results once you get them you can come here and just double check so highlight that one snip okay we got that one snip which is the one two two four eight five six zero right okay i highlighted green so i can keep track of it so now i'm going to find the next snip which is rs12769205 once i find it i'm going to highlight it so now I'm, yeah, I'm just looking for it okay boom i think i got it now i'm going to highlight it all right so now i'm going to go to the next snip okay let's see what we have i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking and boom i found it okay there we go okay so you guys get the point now basically i'm just going to find the rest of those snips and as i find them i'm going to highlight them green so i can keep track of it like i said found another one highlight it boom so now what i'm doing is deleting or not deleting but hiding all the rows in between it so that way i can keep these snips close together so i'm just trying to hide those snips so i can just bring them close together so i can see it on one page right okay so you see how we have that sip to allele right there okay right underneath it is where it's going to give you a genetic code we're going to highlight that genetic code that represents like the normal function of this gene okay that is normal usually found in everybody's genome okay so now based on the snips that we got though if a letter changes if we get a snip and it's that snip plus c from the mom that's normal okay but if we get enough if we get a, the snip from our dad and it say it's t then that's a mutation i know that's very confusing and that changes the allele so now it's not 38 it's 17 and so that's how you know there was a polymorphism or a um a mutation so we're going to go to the next snip and check that so we're going to check this snip and our mom gave us an a looks like right and then we just go down make sure again our dad gave us an a okay cool nothing's been changed it's going to express normal then we go to the next snip that's g we get a g from our mom we get a g from our dad that's cool no mutations happen but if a mutation did happen then we probably would have got a and that would have made the allele three if you guys could see that but anyways continuing we go to the next snip okay our next snip is g we get both a normal g from our mom and dad Okay, so the only mutation is at this snip right here, at this location, this nucleotide right here is going to give us that mutation T down there. Okay, so that's going to change the allele. So now it's SIP2C 1938 and 17. Okay, that's the genotype. So now we're going to go down below. Um, sometimes they have notes and explanations of what that means, but um, we're just actually they don't have it here. So we're going to go back to CPIC and we're going to go to functionality table. going to click on that functionality table. It's going to open up another Excel sheet. And this is basically where it's going to give you definition of what a certain allele means. So we got 17, correct? Okay, that says increase function. So that means that that person is going to rapidly metabolize for a and then we got 
38, which means normal function, okay? So we have one allele from our mom that's a rapid metabolizer, which is 17, and then we have another allele from our dad, which is 38, and it's a normal function. All right, so now we're gonna go back to CPIG and we're gonna go to the guidelines because depending on the diplotype, which means the pair of alleles that you get will determine the ultimate function, right? So um, if you're a heterozygous for an allele, you know, sometimes that can mean that you're still normal or sometimes it can mean that, that one of those alleles are super strong. I don't even know if that's the right terminology, but they can be super strong and they can still uh, be considered rapid or poor. So I'm going to try to find that diplotype. It's 1738. Boom, right there. Okay. So that's saying it's a rapid metabolizer. Regardless if mom gave us a normal one, it's still super rapid, right? It's abnormal. So we still have to take that in consideration. So I looked there and my diplotype phenotype table. So that just told me what my phenotype was based on my genotype, which is rapid metabolizer. So now I'm gonna go to the guidelines. If I go to the guidelines, I can look, and the guidelines are gonna show me different recommendations. So I'm just scrolling and looking, y'all, trying to see what I can find here. See, this table is very helpful. I'm like, okay, I'm reading. It's divided up into ultra rapid, rapid, normal, intermediate. Okay, now I'm just looking for other things to see if I can find anything. Okay, this one's also broken up based on the phenotype. Uh, Y'all, I'm doing a voiceover, so I don't really don't know what the fuck I was doing here. But anyway, so looks like I'm scrolling back up. Okay, so I'm back at the table. All right, our phenotype was a rapid metabolizer, so I need to look for that and see what they say. Okay, boom, highlight that. What are they talking about? What are they talking about here, y'all? <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so basically, Based on the recommendation on the CPIC guidelines, I'm going to find an alternative, okay? I'm going to choose a different medication, a different antifungal drug that's not going to be influenced by 2C19 because Bob is a rapid metabolizer, y'all. He's not going to be able to keep the drug long enough in his body to treat his fungal infection. So that's what we're just going to have to do. So now that I have that information, I can prescribe Bob a better medication that's going to help him with his fungal infection, and I chose Chrisiba. Happy Sunday, everybody. Today is a beautiful day. Like, it's so pretty. It's so pretty outside. So I need to go do something. So I spent my morning reading some articles that I had to do for my rotation. That was fun. <laughs> it was not fun. This entire week, I've been feeling overwhelmed. Um, Friday especially, like, we had a topic discussion and I was not prepared and it showed. And so that kind of like, uh, that kind of like made me mad <laughs> um, because I, I knew better. I just wasn't prepared. I read 
them articles real fast. I didn't write a summary, like a proper summary. Um, so I just kind of felt like I didn't do my part. Um, and so yesterday I was trying to work on some assignments um, that are due next week, but I'm having a hard time finding articles. <laughs> Like finding articles on pharmacogenomics is very tough. Like it's difficult. And the particular drug that I have, it's not a lot of evidence out there um, on it as far as like gene pairs and like genetic testing and all that stuff. So that's frustrating. So yesterday, usually I post Friday or Saturday. I didn't post because I was feeling some way. I was feeling some fucking way and it's a blue jay. That's such a pretty blue jay. I was feeling some way, so I was like, I wasn't trying to post. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get out so I can look at this beautiful, enjoy the beautiful sunshine and um, be productive, I guess. Hopefully I can come back and record and have a little video for y'all tonight, hopefully. If I don't upload it tonight, Y'all not gonna get a video until next the following week, so <laughs> yes, y'all. And I'm in my moo moo, y'all. I'm in my moo moo. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get my shit together and um, get ready to go. All right, all right, bye.
need them to stand up. Hey you guys, so I'm back in the house, um, sitting at my desk, probably about to edit or something. I just wanted to come on here and just kind of close out the vlog and just give you guys some words of encouragement. I be needing words of encouragement, okay? Um, to just keep going. I know earlier in this vlog, I was like talking about like, <laughs> I sounded hella depressed but i was really just being real like i talked about you know what is the point like what's the purpose of all this and i think the purpose is the experience like that's just it and i think if you just stop thinking so hard and then like just be simple minded and just understand like life is the experience and that's it like yeah but anyways i just been doing like a lot of self-reflecting this week and it's been making me feel good like, side note have you guys ever like stared looked yourself in the mirror for a long time like just just look in the mirror and stare at yourself for like five minutes like do not I me mean, look dead into your own eyes <laughs> that shit is scary like I did that this morning I stared at myself for five minutes and I was spooked I was spooked y'all like like it's scary like you start to feel like a shell like you you feel like you're trapped in somebody's body like it was a weird feeling like I've never really dwelled on that I never like looked at myself that long and felt that before like it was creepy I'm like damn like it, it almost felt like I wasn't here it was like I was trapped in this body like damn bitch is this really your body like what the fuck <laughs> like is this really you like so I don't really know what that means but I don't know maybe I'll get a revelation or something but that shit was scary anyway I just want peace of mind at the end of the day i want peace of mind i don't want to i don't care about nothing else right now but a peace of motherfucking mind you hear me <laughs> but no seriously i really don't give a fuck what a bitch gotta say like i really don't um <laughs> i don't i can't i can't no more i can't give a fuck what nobody has to say like I care enough too much about what the fuck I got going on to be worried about what the fuck somebody else got going on. I came across this Michael Jackson little clip when he was interviewing with Oprah and that nigga started beatboxing and shit and <laughs> started singing. Like I really be feeling like that sometimes. Like, like yeah, like people be talking to me but I be in my own world. Like sometimes shit do not register. I just be like, what? I just singing, wait. Yeah. And when you are, for instance, uh, when we were here before. Y'all thought that nigga was playing? He was not playing with her or anybody else in that room. He said, I'm a beatbox and I'm a sing. Like, what the fuck you gonna listen to? That's literally how I'm gonna be for the rest of the year. <laughs> but anyway, let me get off of here um, and finish what I gotta do. I will talk to y'all another time. I'll see y'all. Pray for me this week. I pray that y'all have a great week. And um, I pray for prosperity. I pray for productivity. And blessings and blessings on everyone who's watching this video. Like, for real talk. Like, I really send good energy to y'all. And, um, you know, let's get through this week. Or... <laughs>
You know what? I mean, all the things ever printed in the tabloid, the only thing's ever been true is when they said I couldn't dance. It doesn't we were here seem the last to matter time shooting and the it doesn't seem You were like, like in between shots, running off, like conceiving the dance, choreographing the dance. You were up all night dancing. Uh, and she didn't.